So uh, I'll be speaking on uh, outer loop vectorization, simple cases uh, which uh, many people may know is equal to loop unroll jam plus uh, SLP. Now, uh, this was already talked about in the Newsman Zacks paper way back in PAC 2008. And so what you do is you unroll your uh, loop that is there uh, k times, uh, if you can see in the second one, and then you jam all your inner loops together, and then you do uh, your SLP on that. And as a result, what you actually get is something very similar what you have done for uh, general outer loop vectorization. So this was the basic premise with uh, which we start. And then, uh, uh, interestingly, uh, new pass was introduced in July 2018 by uh, David Green of uh, ARM. And it is, it's in the transform scalar loop unroll and jam pass. And it allows uh, you to do uh, the loop unroll and jamming both by uh, using a pragma or by uh, generally forcing it on your code automatically. So the only issue we had uh, with, with that kind of uh, uh, pass at this point of time was if you want to do loop unroll and jam and SLP, you have to have the pass uh, before SLP. But right now, uh, it actually is lower down in the pipe after SLP. So what do we do to fix that? So what we did was first thing is we made the schedule unroll and jam actually move before the loop vectorizer phase. Actually, we can make it lie between the loop vectorizer and SLP, but we moved it up outside the loop vectorizer phase. And then we had to call a bunch of uh, cleanup routines to make sure that it really works, mainly because I think the unroll and jam pass is uh, fully not tuned uh, for some of these kind of stuff. So you can see the flow there. You have an unroll and jam, you do some cleanup, uh, you do loop vectorization, and then you do uh, the SLP. Now, uh, there are cases where uh, you may run, may need to run the SLP twice. And so mainly because of the fact that uh, the loop vectorizer may actually vectorize the jammed inner loop, uh, resulting in code which you actually don't like, you know, uh, because of, you know, various kinds of reasons. Unlikely that it will do it due to costing reasons, but we have seen cases it may happen. So you may need to run an SLP first, run the loop vectorizer and then another round of SLP for that. Uh, so uh, just to say uh, what we did with that is we did this work. And uh, if, you, if, you, if you see, there was uh, an example that was reported uh, in LLVM dev in 2017, uh, which has inner loop data dependence. So you really cannot do loop uh, vectorization of the inner loop. And uh, no outer loop simulation pragma also was provided. So it expects automatic uh, outer loop vectorization. So what we did was uh, we had this patch with the unroll and jam working before the SLP, and it actually does a good outer loop vectorization of the loop that you can see out there uh, with a nicely tight vectorized code. Uh, in today's uh, LLVM, uh, I checked it as late as last week, uh, it, there is some outer loop vectorization that happens, uh, but it is not clean. Uh, it does some outer loop vectorization of some of the load stores and things like that, but the major mul subs and others are not vectorized at all. So what are the open problems with this kind of an approach? The main open problem is which loops do you really unroll and jam if no pragma is provided? So mainly inner loops with reductions, inner loops with axes which are strided on the outer loop index, inner loops with loop uh, load trip count, and loops with data dependence are obvious targets, but still you must still need to look at the costing and other stuff pretty carefully. And then when you are saying you're gonna do unroll and jam early, uh, what are the unrolling factors and other stuff that you need to look at? So mainly, uh, if you assume SLP will work uh, in this kind of cases, most likely it will be your data size into unrolling factor should become your uh, SIMD width. But still there are open questions. This was more or less like, you know, kind of uh, cheat the uh, outer loop vectorization and have a cheap hack for it. But that's what we did for this work. And Thank you.